number one in the world, current world champion, winner of this top 10 final last year, riding King Edward, fantastic King Edward, ridden now by Henry Reichmann for Sweden. The last to go for the first round. So, I'm going to do you guys a quick guided tour of our Airbnb. Here we go. This is the good bit, the balcony, obviously, with views to die for of the mountains. Oh, yeah, where are they? And our favourite, overlooking the cemetery. Yay! But yeah, I think you can just about see some mountains. No, no, you can't see any mountains. They're behind the cloud. So, that's our view of Geneva. So then we've got a studio, which is pretty grubby and dated. So, double bed, bunk bed, which they hadn't done yesterday. It's a single chair, useful desk there in the corner. Hardly any electric points. We've got a bathroom through there. It smells of curry slightly. And all better is a teeny tiny kitchen. There we go. And that is it. They do have a kettle, so the Genesis is fine. And they don't do just do UHT milk, unlike France. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy of our Airbnb. But hotels are really expensive and we're really cheap because it's ridiculously expensive here. It's just cost us 50 quid for like a couple of baguettes, some tomato, pizza for tonight, some salad, and some croissants. So what's pretty cool about this show is you've got pretty much access to the stables. So you can have a look at them. So that's Mottia. I imagine the good people are much further back, but it just shows you. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the one row of horses. It appears to be the Pony Club attraction. Pony Club. Some lovely hay rugs. And then there's a guy, his job clearly is to go, he's got the green of the Geneve. It's so sweet. I'd like one of those on my yard. I have to say, it's very kid friendly here. They've got a lot of stuff on for kids. And this is one of them, it's the petting area. So, very patient, tolerant little horses. Or Sh Shetland crosses. I wonder, I think Duchess wouldn't mind being groomed all day long. Oh, so these are horses for sale. Okay. That is very little. 15 1, 15 2. Can't see his head. There we go. So we'll wander on down. There we go. So obviously, people are looking. A lot bigger there. Anyway, it's really cool to get behind the scenes. So this one is a comet. Fergar male. Oh, Jantz is happy because there's a ginger. Dear Montessimilli. Yeah. Look, Don't really know the dam line though. No, it's Swiss dam line. What, seven year old? Look, little splatters on its stomach. Yeah, it's got cute little white bits. Revenue, look at his face, very cute, very pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Can we buy this one? Yeah, it's a bit yeah. big for you. Uh, it's wither is quite high. It's quite a big horse. Wouldn't fit my new saddle. Wouldn't fit your new saddle. No. Probably fit all my saddles. Yeah, look at it though, it's so cute. Just look at the splashes, that's quite yeah, cool. That. Very blingy. Very blingy. The ultimate dream with uh, tidy yeah. saddle cloths. That and would be your goal. Yeah, the, the ultimate dream with stable presentation. So here's the Hermes store. Like the price of everything is probably absolutely insane. So I guess two fifty for a saddle cloth. Probably uh, you have to ask the price you can't afford it. Saddle making, how cool is that? Tree. Ah, so for the dog lead, which is there, thousand euros. For the coat, about so for this coat, 
a thousand euros but you know it's Hermes I don't even want to know how much the saddle is it's just insane so yeah fancy spoiling your dog with Hermes lead very niftily done a thousand euros saddle barrel and there is the saddle which again I don't want to ask and I don't think there's a price on the saddle cloth oh there is are you ready uh, 490 for that saddle cloth I think I'll add that to my Christmas list like it's beautiful 490 pounds for saddle cloth though makes Lemire look cheap So number six is got lots of confirmation. It's not such a nice horse as the last one. The other one got what, nine and a half to ten? Quality, quality. And had real ping off the ground. Yeah, just not as well put together, not as uphill through the neck. 
So Jantis has fallen in love with this saddle pad because I just think it looked very smart. It's the right thickness. We're yet to find out how much it costs. We're not. Um, so I think she likes the black and orange and then also quite likes the white and orange. This looks very cool. But it's what the price it is. It's what the price of love is, isn't it, Jantis? It is too big. So there's a new 16 inch saddle. you've never heard of like full fashion it's pretty old it's pretty expensive mind you that's horse pilot in there so it must be just a shop so what brand is yeah horse pilot which i do like their stuff but not 199 uh, yeah, you would be a fool to buy those at 199 yeah that's the problem isn't it yep. i do like the idea of the whole show jumping stuff but i'm just too tight to pay for it so it's quite nice seeing different brands and things here mind you hardcores we've got in the uk so just been looking at this, ninety pounds. But it's fur lined. It's fur lined. Yeah. And it's a uh, feels very um, shiny. It's very shiny. And look, it's a. Yeah. Considering we're arguing over saddle pads and whether they're black or navy. Oh, and it's a silver one. Oh, silver. Oh, Least lined. Silver. It does work. It does work. I think it might scare horses. You would never catch anything, would you? <laughs> We are on Sunday, so it's our last day here. The Rolex Grand Prix is today, and I am just walking to the supermarket. We have been buying stuff here and taking back lunch with us because the food prices are horrendous. Uh, I think we knew it would be expensive, and we're very tight because we're spending all our money on horses. But uh, yeah, we are quite horrified by prices, so we haven't really eaten out or anything. But to be honest, we're not getting back until 11 o'clock from the horse show anyway. So 
Anyway, I'll take you around the supermarket so you can see some of the food prices. So roughly Swiss francs works pretty much comparable with um, UK pounds. And of course it's Sunday, so I think shut. Didn't even think about that. So just wandering back to the horse show, uh, Jancis has run on because I had to go and stop and get some pig zero. Uh, I refuse to pay the ground prices. And so I thought I'd do a quick bit called how much has this weekend cost us? So uh, due to work, we flew out late on Friday. Would have flown out earlier if we could, because actually from Bristol we had three flights to choose from, so we could have gone earlier. But unfortunately work got in the way, that conundrum. So we got the five o'clock flight. That got us to Geneva for about, just before eight o'clock, and then we were able to watch the big class in the evening, which was the 8.30. So we'd have liked to watch the Aventus Grand Prix. That would have been quite fun. Um, our flights were £60 per person. I booked them probably 10 months ago when I just, after watching this event on live stream and thinking it looked rather wonderful. So yes, they cost £60. Our Airbnb cost £80 a night. For the, uh, obviously it's not the highest quality. So total for the two nights was 160 uh, for two people, which is not too bad. £40 per person per night. Our tickets were very expensive because I completely splashed out, but they did have a range of options. To be honest, the prices are similar to the London International Horse Show, but I got a four day pass as that worked out as the best value. And that means you can do Thursday to Sunday. Yeah, so you can do Thursday to Sunday, any session, any time, etc. So that's why it worked out the best value. And I said, I did splash out and get really good seats. But to be honest, having looked at the arena, I think you could get cheaper seats and be very happy with the view. At London International at the past Olympia, the cheap seats meant your view was often blocked or they weren't very good. But because this arena is so big and it's so square with nothing in the middle like um, poles holding up the roof and things, it is really, really good viewing wherever you go. Obviously the dream long term would be to be a VIP with Rolex. But as I don't think that's ever going to happen, uh, the next best thing is to buy tickets in the stadium. As I said, food is very expensive here. We, have, um, we're st we are stingy and tight. Uh, so we have uh, went to the supermarket and bought food. But even like a couple of baguettes, some cookies, crisps, and stuff to put in the baguettes like chicken and salad. And Gouda has cost us around 50 euro. So all in all, I think we spent 50 euro on food, which to be honest for two days isn't too bad. Uh, we bought a bit of food out with us like Pringles and stuff. But yeah, I don't think 50 quid. And we had a pizza for supper last night, which we bought. So not too bad, but I, we have been really tight and not eaten out because I suspect Jancis is going to spend 60 quid on a saddlecloth today. So that's where we've made the saving and for what reason. I also think I'm going to end up, I do love a baseball cap from where I've been and I think the one I like, which is navy, notice the theme, uh, is going to be 40 quid, which is because it's moleskin and the other one with the logo I like is green and the one with the logo I don't like is navy. I don't like the logo because it just looks like you've been to Geneva as a tourist and I want one from the horse show. So yeah, that's where we've cut back on food to waste money on ancillaries like baseball caps and saddle pads. So places we will never experience, that is the VIP area. So that will never be us. Though in the past I ran a website called Eventing and we actually did get some pretty sweet tickets. London Olympia at the time for the dressage. Uh, what else did we get sweet tickets for? Quite a lot actually, Gatcom, things like that. So I used some reports on it. So there you go. Here is the baseball cap. The green one <laughs> is 30. I don't like the colour. And then the blue one is 40, where I like the colour. Not bothered about material, and I like the logo. Versus this one. Here is the other one. You can see that at the back. It just says CHI Geneva. Every day before each class, they do a printout of the people jumping, which is actually really handy and a really good idea. So now the warm up's getting interesting. It literally is, you know, you've got two teams cantering. Like, we think show jumping warm ups are bad. This is like, but this is super organized in the way that they seem to all know where they're going. More team joining, this is gonna get. Look at the lines they can pull. Oh, one has hit a cane over there. 
there, so somebody will stop and pick it up. So the cool thing about coming to Continental shows is you see different things that you don't normally expect. So this is a JFK Monaco, very continental, fiberglass. Uh, don't have front and low because um, they don't tend to do that in um, Europe. They tend to reverse them out. Uh, partition there, little window at the front, and then. There's a cubby hole here with, with um, racks for bridles. Not so sure if you can see that very well. There you go, that's better. So in front of the train has got a little cubby hole. And then you can just see on this one, which is the same in bronze, there's the tap locker. So I do like that about the uh, Continent trailers. They do come with tap lockers, it's, which is pretty good. I'll show you the Faltrus. And then it's what it looks like from the back, so quite a good 
look around. The other thing about the Continental Tone is they tend to have much better suspension than the British ones. The British ones don't tend to have much, but you can see the suspension. Just down there. So here is the Faltras trailer. So it's got a tiny little ramp at the back. It's got a small ramp at the back, but a lot of them just step on. I've got to step on the home so they move really well. It's herringbone with two horses. I don't think mine will fit. Uh, you've got the barn doors, which open. And then at the side, you've got um, two tack areas. So for hanging stuff, which is quite good, but you then you can see from where the wheelbases are, you then lose loads of space for the horses. So yeah, I love the idea of storage, but I don't like the way it's compromised for the horses. Um, space, I would, if you have a small horse, it probably looks like that. And so then you have another tap locker here, which is lit. And this one, it's got a drainage plug, so I'm guessing you can put uh, water and stuff like that, and then if it gets sloppy, it drains away. So we've got alloy wheels. So the farm doors, you can see here, little um, important place and the shutters you need them. We've got the little front ramp, front and load for the door. We've got the panels that come up so the horses can look out. As I said, it is uh, a road. Probably about 16 hands, 16 two. I don't know if I'm going to get this. I don't know if I'll get into it. And then you've got the centre partition. And then if you go up into it, you've got so this is world number one, Henrik von Eckmann, and he is lunging King Edward, who was due to jump in the big class, which is really interesting. So we've obviously seen, we've got quite a lot of footage of Henrik and what he's been doing. So King Edward does a lot of long and low. And now you can see him just the lunge line, just wanting him long and loose and relaxed. Like, he looks amazing, doesn't he? You can see him with the muscles over his back. You know, just look. So really interesting what each rider does for their individual horse, try and get the max performance out of him. So yeah, and this is what he's doing today.
and then a little bit of orange on the boot. And Janice has decided she's fallen in love. I think it's beautiful. Now that you've converted me to orange, you're getting me to buy a saddle cloth with orange on it. Never having considered orange previously, I actually think that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's not a bad boot, is it? There's no one here. I'm trying to find out how much it is. I mean, the dressage pro boot is £590. That's not too bad then. I think the jump will come in less. I've never spent more than £100 on boots. Yeah, life's just going to change for you now, isn't it? <laughs> now that I've discovered I love orange. <laughs> yeah, well, not too much orange, it's going to be a slash oh, of yeah, orange. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, look at the boot bag. The boot bag's got a little stripe of orange on it, too. Yeah. Yeah, I see. If it comes with the boot bag, I mean, I'm sold. Totally sold. I don't have £500, by the way, so no. Yeah, but it's, it's future investment. <laughs> it's not like So we're like back on the saddle cloth well, thing. Well, now Jack's decided it's too big. It says children on that side. It is quite beautiful. Ah, more money than I ever spent on any saddle cloth put together. That's just saying it's more money than I've ever spent on any saddle cloth put together. This is your fault, Lucy. You're it's not my enabler. fault. I'm not an enabler. I just point things out. What if I need 10 extra francs? I can donate 10 extra francs. And I'll knock off Eris's rent. You're getting very cheap rent, I'm going to put that up. <laughs> this whole weekend basically been on Eris. Yeah. Cheap Eris. <laughs> basically, I treated the answers to this weekend because she does me a huge amount of favours having my pony. Oh, well, we're getting keen now. Is this one? Oh, she's shopping. It's a different 60 for now. She's got the dogs. What's she getting for 52? I think that's all the cash she has. <coughs> so, oh, excuse me. I've just bought myself a baseball cap. Janice is now doing final run round because she's decided if she had more money, wouldn't life be great? And I keep reminding you we're going home on EasyJet. And somehow we have to get the saddle pad on because they're going to fit the bags. <coughs> but now she's looking at coats that were like 230 euros. So I don't know what's going on. Who is this person? Because I don't think I've ever met her before at the closing sale. So she's turned into a monster looking at really expensive stuff. Normally she never spends any money on expensive stuff at all. And now she's looking at coats and gillets. I keep reminding her, you know. Any old Lemire will do, but anyway, we're looking at Ego 7. Oh, is that a sad face? Is that a sad face? That's a, I wish I could afford stuff like that, babe. Stop looking at it. Lemire! <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with Jancis? Where is she? The girl. This has changed my life. This sad of pad. Now I want to look smart. <laughs> yeah. That's I have it. to upgrade my wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. And start grooming my horse. <laughs> When's the shiny hat coming? Uh, no, nah, that's a step too far. <laughs> Final words, Dances. What did you think of this show? It's a very good show. Very good. Yeah, very good show. Never been to a big international show for multiple days like this. It's a good show. Yeah, come back next year. <laughs> Can hint. Can hint, Lucy, if you're going <laughs> to... You know, fund it again. Yeah. I'll come back. Well, wow. now I know the ticket, cheaper tickets. To be fair, it was so easy um, yeah. for us to fly. Um, we're not that far from the airport. We're the airport direct to Geneva. We walk from the airport. Maybe we walk to the accommodation. Get more time for the bus. <laughs> Maybe allow a little more time on the other end. Yeah. yeah but we're going to go walk to the airport, airport now, and we've got tons of time. So. Yes, for once. But we've been cheapskates, we've got cold pizza and cold garlic bread that we cooked up 